Howdy folks, welcome back to Cray Outdoors. Today we are at the Allegheny River. This is my first time fishing this particular spot. Supposedly this is a walleye hot spot, even though uh, nobody else is fishing here. And the walleye run should be in full swing. Hopefully the walleye are here and uh, hopefully we can catch something. River looks to be in absolutely perfect shape. The walleye run has been late this year. Things are just starting to pick up here on the Allegheny River now. Let's see what we can catch. Um, feels like a walleye. A walleye or a pike? No, nope, pike. <laughs> it's either a pike or a muskie. No, it's a pike. All right, cool. At least we're on the board. This is, I think, my first Allegheny River pike. I'm gonna caught them in the reservoir, which connects to here. Lots of them in the reservoir, actually. It's one of my top pike spots, but mm, it's barely hooked too. <laughs> I might want to uh, take a glove off here. There we go, now we got him. Cool. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna leave him here. Let him lie here. I was actually, took a few casts down along these trees here, thinking that looked like a good pike spot. This thing wants to get away. He wants to get away. He wants to get away. All right. Mr. Pikey. <laughs> you stop flim flamming. I can try and get you off. There we go, now he's off. Uh, I, I kind of want to take a picture, but uh, I don't feel like digging out my phone. My hands are freezing. We got him good and on film for you. So we're just gonna let him back go again. I don't know where he went. He just keeps going that way. <laughs> All right, well that was fun. We're on the board. We got a pike on the uh, the Challenger minnow. Cool. At least we caught something. The nice, something real nice. It's gonna jump. I think it's another pike. It's nice, whatever it is. Maybe it is a walleye. I think it's a big walleye. Big walleye, baby. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Beautiful. Cool. <laughs> we got what we're after. Allegheny River Walleye. <laughs> this one's so big, I might have to let it go. It's a breeder. Well, he's keeping size. He's, boy. <laughs> Do you want to take it home or not? Uh, eh, well, let's measure him up. Let's measure him and contemplate keeping him. <clears throat> Whoa, we gotta watch, there's some nasty holes here. On a lipless crankbait. First ever walleye on a lipless crankbait. Uh, following the advice of subscriber Ralph, he's been nailing them on lipless crankbaits out in the Susquehanna. Figured we'll try it out here in uh, the Allegheny River and see if we can catch ourselves a big walleye. And we did. See, he's definitely legal size. On Seneca land, you're only allowed to keep one over 20. He's not, yeah, he's not a breeder. He's only about 20 inches. I think we're going to keep it. <coughs> Walleye is good tasting. Yep. Alrighty. 20 inches on the dot. Cool. That's my uh, third 20 inch walleye this year. No, fourth walleye over 20, 20 inches or better this year. And uh, cool. Another one. I think it came off. No, it came off. Oh, that one felt even bigger. That one felt even bigger. Oh, you know what? You know what came off when I, uh, when I took my hand off the reel for a second, let that pressure off to turn on the camera. Ooh, that felt like a real big one. Alrighty, folks. Well, we're calling it quits. Taking home one beautiful walleye here. And uh, walleye are one of my favorite fish to eat. So I was only going to keep one more if I caught one more. But fortunately, we did not. We did miss one nice fish. And I had another fish earlier that uh, followed my Challenger minnow right into my feet and then took off. I'm not quite sure what it was. Not sure if it was a walleye or another pike. But either way, one walleye, one pike. I'm happy. For, it's December 2nd. Nobody else is fishing here, which is really awesome. I'm not going to give any more specifics on this spot other than uh, keep in mind you need a Seneca Nation fishing license anytime you're fishing on Seneca land. Um, but other than that, I'm not going to say anything more about the spot. And uh, yeah, it was great fishing. Howdy folks, welcome back to Cray Outdoors. Today we are back at the Allegheny River and uh, going to hopefully catch some more walleye. We've got about, I don't know, 40-ish minutes before the walleye are really going to start hitting. So we're starting off specifically targeting pike and muskie. And uh, then once that sun starts going down, which will be in about, I don't know, 35, 40 minutes, 
will specifically transition to targeting walleye and uh, hopefully catch one or two more tonight. I haven't ate that other walleye yet, so if I can get one more, that'll make a meal for me and my family. So I'm happy with just one, but we'll see. If you hit it right, you can really uh, you can do well here. Oh, it came off. No, I think that was a muskie. Oh, no. No, that's the first muskie I've missed this year. Are you kidding me? I, I shouldn't have turned on the camera. I should have made sure he was hooked good before I tried turning on the camera. Oh my goodness, it could have been a pike. I didn't get a super good look at it. Pretty, there he is again. Muskie. Or is it a pike? I can't tell. No, it's a big old pike. <laughs> Thought it was a muskie. Oh, I'm happy with a big pike too. <laughs> Crushed it, baby. Crushed it. Cool, not a bad start. He hit again. I can't believe he hit a second time. He's skinny. He's had a little bit more weight to him we'd consider keeping him. I do like eating pike almost as much as I like walleye. Put him here in the clearer water so I can see when he's ready to go. He might be ready to go right off the bat. And he is. Cool. All right. Well, two casts, two hits, one pike. What is it this time? Pike or muskie? Is this my freaking muskie? Looks like camera malfunctioned there as I was reeling this guy in. Not a muskie. <laughs> another dang pike. That's okay. It's another big one. This one looks a little bit more golden. This might have been that first fish that I missed. Hit again. Honestly, I think pike are just as good eating. So uh, we're going to keep this guy. He's 28 inches. Legal to keep. We'll call this one. We let one pike go. Just because he's bleeding. I don't know if he's going to make it anyway. And uh, he's got a chunk of hook in him somewhere. So yeah, we'll keep that one. And uh, there's plenty of pike in this river. So my best freaking pike day of the freaking year. They're stacked in here today right now. Uh, just a little guy. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, crushing pike. Crushing pike. And this is just a little guy. <sighs> Settle down there, buddy. Settle down there, buddy. This one I don't think is legal size. I don't even know if he's 18. So we're going to get this one off the hook and right back in the water. <laughs> All right. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, you know that big pike's gonna be a walleye eater too, so just as well that I keep him. All right, let this little guy go. There he goes. <laughs> Number three. Three freaking pike, baby. Cool, cool, cool. I'm having fun. I am having fun. Four. Walleye? Walleye, baby! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Thought for sure it was gonna be another pike. Nice. Eater size, too. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. <laughs> Was not expecting a walleye. Yet. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool. Alrighty. He's a good eater size. Question is, do we want to keep him now that we kept the big fat pike? I don't know if I need a walleye. He didn't swallow it or nothing. He is perfect eating size, though. Oh, decisions, decisions. Maybe we should let this one go. Look how bad it is in the, the middle there. It looks like it might be full of eggs. So maybe we'll let this fish go. There we go. All right. And, uh, yeah, I was going to maybe take a picture, but I think we'll let this beautiful fish go. We got that big pike we're keeping. We might catch a walleye tonight that uh, swallows it or something. So because that one finds its way back, because she didn't swallow it, and I think she'll survive, we'll let that walleye go. So we snagged a fathead. <laughs> That's a little fathead minnow. <laughs> How cool. <laughs> I'm going to keep that little thing on there. That might be an extra little... Uh, I should put that thing on a jig head. That's probably what these walleye are up in here eating. Those little things. I can't believe that I snagged a minnow. <laughs> I'm sure that's what that walleye was eating when he saw that X-Wrap go past him. Alrighty folks, so headlamp is going on. Polarized sunglasses came off we are transitioning to walleye mode 
from pike mode. We did a lot better pike fishing than frankly I was expecting to. I was expecting, you know, maybe one, two pike if I was lucky. We caught three, including uh, two big ones. Of course, we kept this one. This one's a little bit uh, fatter than the other one. The other one I think was slightly longer. So overall, they're probably about the same size in terms of weight. But uh, yeah, always a good thing to uh, come to these walleye spots and fish for pike and muskie first if you have time. Oh, a, I think pike are underrated as a food fish. In my opinion, they taste just as well as walleye, if not slightly better. B, they're a lot of fun to catch. And C, most importantly, um, if you can spook the pike and muskie out of the area, you're probably going to do better walleye fishing because, you know, they're going to be up there spooking the walleye. So we scared those three pike out of the area, hopefully. Well, this one we kept completely, got out of there completely. Those other two pike are hopefully spooked and out of this area now. And uh, hopefully there will just be walleye stacked in here. The fact that we caught three pike is a very good sign. I'm guessing they're up here eating the walleye and the walleye were eating those little tiny um, fathead minnows. We snagged that one little tiny minnow. Um, I'm guessing that's what the walleye are after. We already caught one walleye. So fishing should be good. Fishing should be good. I'm excited. Uh, see what we can catch here as it's starting to get dark. Kept right on recording. Fish on the very first freaking cast. Walleye on the first freaking cast, baby. First cast of walleye transition. Or is it another freaking pike? No, it's a little walleye. <laughs> first cast, how awesome. It's a good eating size. <sighs> Do we want to keep one more? You know what, again, we're, we're probably going to crush them. So we're going to keep ones that swallow it, ones that we don't think are going to make it. So this one we're going to let go. <laughs> we're going to be crushing them tonight, folks. We're crushing them. First cast with the, uh, this, this, uh, this, uh, uh, lipless crankbait here. I believe this is a Spro something or another. I don't know. I'm just, I'm having a ball out here today, guys. Wow. First cast. I'm just going to keep right on filming. Yeah, buddy. It's a bigger one. It's a bigger one. Yeah. Second cast. Second cast of the walleye. And this is a bigger one. This is a bigger one, dude. This is a bigger one. This is a heavy fish. Heavy fish on right now, folks. Heavy fish on. Yeah. 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 Don't come off. Don't come off. You know what? I don't even care because I'm going to crush them tonight. This is a heavy fish, dude. This is could be a trophy freaking walleye unless it's another pike. Or a muskie. Big wake, dude. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish, baby. Big fish. Big fish, baby. Big fish. Holy smokes, guys. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. I see a big tail. I think this is a freaking... Oh no, it came off. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, guys? That was gigantic. That was gigantic. I... I think that was a walleye, guys. I really think that was a walleye. There's some flesh on there. My drag might be a little bit too tight here. My drag might be a little bit too tight. These are kind of scales that could have potentially been a snagged carp. <laughs> that potentially could have been a snagged carp. So uh, my, uh, I was just uh, very upset about it slightly less upset because <laughs> there was scales on there. Ah, oh, man. I don't know. Maybe that was something hooked in the mouth. Who freaking knows? Fish. Oh, came off, came off. Got on something. Gigantic again. Absolutely gigantic again. I'm barely even able to turn it right now. Whatever is on the end of this line is gigantic, guys. This is so heavy. This is so heavy. This is so heavy. What on earth? If this is a walleye, guys. All right, let's catch it this time. Let's catch it this time. It's taking drag. It's taking drag. Could be my muskie, or this could be my state record walleye. I sure hope I don't lose it. It's not acting like a snagged carp. It's just sitting low. It's acting like a walleye. It's just sitting there, sitting low. Acting very much like a walleye. My arm is getting tired, guys. My arm's getting tired. Making progress on it. Making progress on it. Get 
huge guys huge the PB pike or a walleye or something whatever it is it's a PB unless it's a snagged carp the snagged carp is the only way it's not a PB it almost looked like a catfish could a catfish have taken this thing if it's a catfish it might not be a PB either let's at least see what it is it is a snagged carp <laughs> or a snagged catfish I think I don't what on earth is this all right, snagged whatever it is, snagged carp. All right, that must have been what the last fish was. <laughs> Never mind, it's not a PB. <laughs> All right, so much for my PB. <laughs> snagged carp. I'm guessing that's what that last big fish was that we missed. <clears throat> Let's try and get him in. That way we can say we landed him. <laughs> Oh, he came off. That's all right. <laughs> Looks like a Walter. It's a Walter. On the Challenger minnow this time. All right. We'll let this guy go. I don't actually think this one's actually questionable whether or not it's legal. <clears throat> Next one that we catch that's legal size for sure now that we're getting towards the end we might keep it yeah this guy i don't think he's quite legal he might be he's, he's close definitely close but we'll let it go <laughs> awesome 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 crushing them baby crushing them this time it's on the challenger minnow they're hitting pretty much freaking everything <laughs> that's one on the x wrap one on the lipless and one on the Challenger. Here we go again. Another heavy fish. I don't know if there's another snagged carp or if we got a real big one on for real this time. It's another heavy fish. I went back to the lipless crankbait. Looks like another snagged carp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Smaller snagged carp. Snagged carp in, the, in any event though. <clears throat> Whoa, don't drive that hook into my waders. Don't you dare. All right, this one, I, I just want it to come off. <laughs> I just want it off the dang line. I don't really feel like bringing them all the way to shore. I guess I'm probably gonna have to. Gosh dang it. Nowhere to set my rod down is the problem. When you're in the water, all I need to do is set my rod down and use both hands and I'd have been good. Alright, Mr. Carpy McCarpy. You're not what I wanted to see. But on another heavy tugging. I'm guessing it's another snagged carp, but I don't know what. It's taking drag. It's a heavy tugger. I'm thinking this is a much bigger carp if that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, another big old carp in the back. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna call it quits tonight, folks. <laughs> I just, this is an interesting phenomenon. I wasn't really expecting... Uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't throw lipless crankbaits that often. I didn't realize how easily they snagged carp. They're getting all excited over that first fish. All right, Mr. Carpy Carpy. <laughs> it landed. It was right on the cast. I never even jigged back or nothing. <laughs> Just casted and line started going out. I mean, it, I landed this thing on its back somehow. <laughs> All right, one hook's off. I'm concerned about that thing flying back and hitting me in the dang eye. Is a concern. I just wish I had a third hand. It would be so helpful. There we go, it's off. <laughs> Alright. Well, on that note, folks, I think we're going to call it quits. It's getting late. Uh, in hindsight, I sort of wish I'd have kept that first fat walleye. 
But you know what? Hey, I, I caught that big pike. I still got that. Uh, you know what? That pike and the walleye I caught yesterday is more than enough to feed me and my family. What am I talking about? And uh, locals will probably be just as happy that I kept that pike and released the walleye. I had a blast down here. I really did. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you in the next fishing adventure. When I turn the camera back on here, I know it's kind of graphic, but I just want to check out what is in this pike's stomach. Always a fun thing to do, and I'm not sure, but from the outside, and I just started breathing on me again. From the outside, it looks like it's a, uh, at least what it feels like anyway, feels like there's another pike in here. Feels like this thing ate a baby pike, but we're going to find out in a second. See what's in here. I believe it's either a baby pike or a baby muskie. So for those of you that are going to hate on me for keeping the pike, <laughs> look at that, there's a pike inside it. <laughs> the last thing this thing ate was a pike. <laughs> it's either a pike or a muskie. I'm guessing I'm guessing it's a pike, but who knows. Oh, gross. It, there's yeah, my mom. Yeah, it's got the same kind of mouth. Yeah, no, it's definitely a pike. So, Ew. Yeah, pike are cannibals. <laughs> So for those of you that are going to hate on me for keeping the pike, um, I probably just saved a bunch of future pikes' lives here. <laughs> First pike Ew. I've ever had that had another pike inside it. <laughs> Ew.